In this video, we'll look at whether pH 3, this is phosphorus trihydride, is polar or nonpolar. So the first thing, let's look at the phosphorus hydrogen bond and see if this bond itself is polar. So we have phosphorus, which is 2.19, and then hydrogen, that's 2.20. So there's really no difference in electronegativity between the phosphorus and the hydrogen. So this bond right here, we could consider the bond nonpolar. But we really need to take a look at the molecular geometry to understand the polarity of the whole molecule. So our Lewis structure, it doesn't give us a full view of what's happening here with this lone pair of electrons and these three hydrogens all pushing away from each other. Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for pH 3. So the purple, we'll consider that the central phosphorus. We're going to add three hydrogens, one, two, three. They all spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. And that gives us this planar molecular geometry. But we have that lone pair, so we've got to add the lone pair in. Since that occupies space, it'll push these hydrogens down. So now we have this trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry with this lone pair up here and these three hydrogens kind of down at the bottom here. So for pH 3, we have the lone pair up here. This is going to be slightly more negative than these hydrogens down here, so we'll have a dipole. It would be less polar than something like ammonia, though, which has essentially the same structure. With ammonia, the nitrogen is more electronegative, much more electronegative than the phosphorus. So the hydrogen atoms in the ammonia, they're more positive. So we have a more pronounced polar molecule. But pH 3, it is a polar molecule, even though the bonds between the phosphorus and the hydrogen are nonpolar. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.